Hey there, did you know that Kerberos is the authentication protocol widely used in computer networks for authentication of the service requests between two hosts? This video is about fixing the authentication related issues with the native command line utility called Klist in Windows. In this video, you will learn how to use Klist for Kerberos ticket management and troubleshooting. If you know the relationship between the three-headed dog and the Kerberos, do let me know in the comment section. Well, let's get started with this video. The K-List allows you to view and manage the Kerberos tickets that are cached on a local machine. There are several use cases for this. You can use it in troubleshooting the authentication related issues. When there are, there are password changes or domain migrations, service principal names, security audits and monitoring or for service account troubleshooting. Well, the use cases can leverage these different commands that are available. First is Klist. If you want to view the cached tickets, then you can use this command. The primary, primary purpose of this command is to display all the Kerberos tickets currently stored in the cache of the system. This helps the administrators to troubleshoot authentication issues or checking the validity of the tickets. This command lists all the tickets currently cached for the logged in users. This includes the service name, ticket expiration and the associated realm. Next is Klist TGT. You can view the specific ticket details using this command. You can view more detailed information about the specific tickets by using this Klist TGT command that shows the ticket granting ticket details. This displays the TGT used to authenticate a user to access multiple services in the network. We have purge command. We can use the klist purge command. In some cases, you might need to delete or purge the stored tickets from the local cache, especially when a user is having authentication issues after a password change or a domain transition. This command clears all the cached Kerberos tickets for the current user. If you want to display ticket cache details, then you can use Klist tickets. You can use the Klist tool to display detailed information about the ticket cache, including the server expiration time and the flag list. This shows the detailed information about the service tickets that are currently cached on the system. Well, let's have a look into this utility to troubleshoot the issues related to authentication. For this, I have logged into a machine, Seattle Client 1. And if I show you the login credential that who am I? I am Contoso Administrator. Contoso is the fictional domain used here. The utility is Klist that will show you the cached tickets on this machine. There are four tickets cached, Client Administrator, Client is administrator, server is this, the Kerberos ticket encryption details are advanced encryption system 256 bit encryption as used by the Kerberos, ticket flag, start time of the ticket, end time of the ticket, the renewal time is 7 days, the ticket issued on 3rd of Jan whereas it need to be renewed uh, before 10th of Jan. The 7 days duration for ticket renewal is because the ticket generation is time consuming process it's resource intensive process. So the domain controllers do not uh, create a new ticket every time the users log in. Rather than that, they renew the same ticket when the users log in. So they update and renew the same tickets. This is to check the validity of the tickets using this Klist command. If I show you this Klist utility with slash question mark for the help that what are other commands available, I can use Klist TGT as I mentioned earlier that I can see more details or detailed information about the tickets then Klist TGT can be used then we have purge sessions KCD cache and get the SPN details the service principal name. This is the detailed information about the ticket this is the hash of this uh, ticket whereas if you want to purge these tickets then you can use the Klist and uh, space purge command. This will clear all the tickets from this. If I do Klist TGT, there is no ticket cached over here. You will see that there are zero tickets over here. 
on this local machine. If a user tries to access any service, as I mentioned that Kerberos will be responsible for these service requests to authenticate. For an instance, I'm accessing the domain controller itself and I don't know whether there is a share on that or not. So I'm accessing with administrative share. That is, uh, excuse me, not London. It is actually Seattle here in this case, in this lab environment. So Seattle DC1 and C drive I'm accessing. I access the administrative share of the domain controller. If I do the key list once again, you see that there have been few tickets that has been cached. Now, if I want to see the sessions, then I can run the key list sessions. These are the session details. And if I want to see the tickets once again, so tickets we have uh, seen here. Well, if I want to see the ticket related details, then I can use key list tickets. And these are the ticket details using this key list utility. This is how we can use this key list utility to fix the authentication related issues or purging the cache tickets. How did you find this video? Do let me know in the comment section and do subscribe the channel for more tips like this. Thanks for watching.